Hello, my name is Mr. Alban, and I'm proud to be the head teacher here at Barnwood Park. I'm sorry that we couldn't welcome you here for physical tours, but I'm sure you understand in the pandemic, the safety of our students and staff come first. We know it's a big decision for you because it involves the next five years for your youngsters, but we're sure that our video and our PowerPoint will give you a flavor of why Barnwood Park is the hardest school to get into in Gloucester. Our results have been consistently strong and have steadily improved since 2014. We value not just the academic progress, but the holistic development of our students. And that's to do with their character, their confidence, and being effective citizens to add value to their community. Now let's meet the teams and see where the magic happens. Welcome to the English department. We offer exciting, new, great lessons in school. Hooray! At Key Stage 3, you can take part in a number of exciting writing projects and read a number of novels. At GCSE, you will study language and literature and study books including Macbeth and in Spectacles and A Christmas Carol. We also celebrate World Book Day. You can take part in the Carnegie Challenge and there are lots more competitions for creative writing to take place soon. And we offer you the chance to go on theatre trips that are linked to our curriculum. We really look forward to welcoming you in September. Hello, my name is Mrs Thomas. And my name is Mr Day. And we are maths teachers. Within the class, you'll see painted at the back two words. Well, why because? Because we place importance on students developing depth of understanding. Only when a student is able to explain and convince us why a mathematical problem can be solved in a particular way, do we know that they have sufficient depth of understanding to use and apply this mathematics in other situations. And yet, why yet? We encourage our students to be resilient. Not to say I can't do it or I don't get it, but to add that important word yet. Our students do not give up when faced with difficulties. Instead, they view it as a chance to try different strategies and a chance to improve. We celebrate World Maths Day on 15th of October every year with lots of fun games and activities. We run a UK maths club every week after school and we're looking for problem solvers and puzzle addicts. We run a STEAM club every week. You might have heard of STEM but we've got STEAM with an art as well. Come along for problem solving and creative activities. In addition to GCSE Mathematics, we offer a Statistics GCSE to all of our students and for those who are higher attaining, they can do further maths GCSE, which is halfway between GCSE and A-level. In order to support your children's learning, here at Barnwood Park, we offer homework clubs. If your children struggle with any question or they have any question about homework, please come and see us. We are here to help you. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Barnwood Park. This is the science uh, department. Come on through, I want to show you the great science that happens in this school. So here at Barnwood Park, we like to do great fun experiments. This is one that we are going to do to show you what we can do here at Barnwood. Everybody. What do you think this is? What is this? What do you think this is? Go for it, Satrice. This is bubbles, okay? This is a mixture of bubbles and gas. And so in a minute, what is going to happen, if I get my angle right, okay, is that Miss is going to light this, okay? So are we ready to see what will happen when this gets lit? Take it away, Miss. Right, so that is one of the many experiments that you won't be able to do, okay, but you might be able to light the teacher at some stage. Here's another one. Okay, so we are now going to add some chemicals into, again, some washing up liquid. It is amazing what you can do with washing up liquid. Okay, so hopefully this will work. Are we ready? Anybody got any idea what is going to happen here? Anybody got any idea? Anybody got, go for it. Is it going to bubble up? You reckon it's going to bubble up? Okay, what do you reckon? Uh, same with um, Josh. You reckon that's going to do that? What do you reckon, Evelyn? Explode. You reckon it explode? I hope it doesn't. Okay, here we go then. 
Right, let's have a countdown. I want you to say, when I pour it, three, two, one. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Okay, here we go, 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 here we go. Yes! <laughs> Hi, I'm Miss Patel and welcome to the Humanities Department. We have a wonderful team of teachers here in the Humanities Department and we are all really, really looking forward to welcoming you to our school. Within our department, we teach three main subjects, Geography, History and RE. The Humanities subject is the study of people and throughout these three subjects, we will be teaching you about cultures around the world, the belief systems around the world, traditions around the world. You will be learning about the past and what lessons you can learn from the past. We also have lots and lots of trips that we have in our department. We have links to our local church, St. Lawrence Church. You may even get a chance to go to Italy and meet the Pope. We also have trips to the battlefields and the trenches. Lots and lots of exciting things for you to find out about. It's such a shame that you can't actually come into school to see all of this one, to see our wonderful classes and all of the wonderful things we do. But we are really, really looking forward to welcoming you. Take care. See you soon. Hi. Welcome to Belmont Park. This is the Modern Languages Department. Come on in. Here at Belmont Park, we learn. Spanish and French up to GCSE. We have two opportunities to go abroad, which is to Northern France um, in December, and we go to Barcelona. Come and meet our team. Here is Miss Porter. Hello. And here's Miss Borum. Hello. We'd love you to come and learn languages at Barmer Park. They're awesome. See ya. Hi, welcome to Barmer Park Sports Centre. As you can see, we've got a brand new sports centre that was built last year just for our students. We do let it out externally as well, and it comes with a brand new classroom. Within this classroom, we teach GCSE PE, Cambridge National Sports Studies, and a range of other subjects. Within the sports hall, we teach a vast range of sports, along with some outside. Within here we can host netball, basketball, badminton, trampolining and some indoor sports such as table tennis. Hi, I'm Mr Pugh and welcome to the music department. There's always something going on here in the music department. But in Year 7 we look mainly on the basics of understanding music theory and how it fits into con the context of larger music in the world. Into Year 8 and Year 9 we look at topical based things where all of that basic understanding in Year 7 follows on into and up to including GCSE. We offer a lot of clubs including Glee Club and Choir and a new ukulele club starting this year. Um, we offer lots of concerts uh, at Christmas and in the summertime and we do a lot of uh, musical theatre including Annie, Hairspray and Grease uh, over previous years. We do also offer voice projects, uh, which are filmed professionally and uploaded to YouTube. Uh, we take part in the G15 Celebration of Success, which takes place at Gloucester Cathedral. And one of the most common questions we have asked is uh, that instrument lessons that your children take at primary school. We do also offer individual instrument lessons here through peripatetic teachers. So if you need to know more about that, please ask. We look forward to seeing you. Hello, my name's Miss Jones and I'm the Head of Drama at Balmer Park School. I'm standing here in our brand new drama studio, which I will show you a bit more of shortly. But if I could just indicate the lights here, we have lights in the ceiling and portable lighting, which we use in all our lessons and we're very lucky, we're one of the few schools to have that sort of facility. Our brand new studio has rate seating, which is withdrawn for the lessons, and then we bring it out for assessments and performances. We have black curtaining all around the room and a black carpet and black chairs to create that famous black box for making great shows and for fantastic lessons. I'd also like to show you our uh, reward cards that we send home when your students, when our students rather, and your children do incredibly well in lessons. I'd also like to show you um, our last musical production, which was Hairspray. Um, you can see that we do a full set, full costumes, um, and we work closely and collaborate with the dance and music department to make that happen. All the very best in your choices for schools, but you really can't go wrong with the drama department at Barmer Park School. 
Welcome to our dance department here at Barnwood and welcome to our brand new dance studio. I am Mrs Keane, I'm the head of dance here. And I'm Miss Knight, I'm the other dance teacher but also the Senko at Barnwood Park. There are so many opportunities for you here for dance. Everybody will study dance at Key Stage 3 and it's an optional subject that you can take for GCSE at Key Stage 4. You will study a wide range of styles of dance, which can range from contemporary to hip-hop to musical theatre, to name a few. It doesn't matter if you have never danced before. And then in, in school, dance is not limited to the classroom. We do trips, we do shows, we do festivals, you name it, we do it. It's a great place to come if you love dance. If you are from the Gloucester area, you may have heard of our dance show, our annual dance show, which is Centre Stage. That is a fantastic opportunity to get involved in extracurricular opportunities. We have club performances in there, as well as GCFC, choreographies and performances. It's a really amazing production to get involved with. We really can't wait to meet you when you choose Barnwood Park. My name is Mr Hayne, and I'm the Head of Art and Technology at Barnwood Park. Now, when you start at Barnwood Park, you'll find we have an arts and technology carousel with a whole range of subjects, including textiles, cooking, drawing and painting, and design and technology. Also on the carousel is a subject called digital art, which is quite unusual, not many schools offer it. Now, digital art is about being creative and artistic on a computer, and it involves some ideas that may one day lead you on to a career or be interested in games design or special effects. I also teach GCSE Photography, which is an option at year 10 and 11. I've been teaching that a number of years, it's very popular, it's a very exciting course. Now, if you come to Barnwood Park, I'm sure that you'll get the opportunity to learn about both digital art and photography and hopefully be as excited about them as I am. Hello, I'm Mrs Roberts and welcome to my art room. In this room we concentrate on painting and drawing. At Kids Stage 3 you will be doing lots of exciting projects such as faces, visual elements and graffiti. And, we will, and you will be using lots of different materials such as oil pastels, watercolours and acrylic. At GCSE level it is a very popular subject and we're very proud of what our students achieve. We encourage an independent creative response and we consistently get some of the best results in Gloucestershire. You will have the proper opportunity to go on trips during your time at Barnwood, such as maybe going to Rome and GCSE students always go on a trip to London to the Tate Modern. I really look forward to welcoming you in Year 7. Bye bye. Hello, my name is Mrs Dunford and welcome to our brand new textiles workshop. At Key Stage 3, we're going to cover all the basic skills you need for textiles. So we'll look at hand sewing, handling fabrics, ironing and printing. And in Year 9, we'll then introduce you to how to use a sewing machine. Moving forward into Key Stage 4, we cover textile design and this is where it gets really exciting. We will explore a range of techniques and processes and skills to help you to produce super creative and imaginative outcomes. Very much looking forward to seeing you in September. Okay, my name is Mr Holland and I teach design and technology and this is my room, okay? Lots of workbenches in here, lots of equipment. The kind of things we do are design and make stuff, solve problems. In year seven, you'll make a teaching aid to teach mechanisms in primary schools. Something like this little unicorn here. In year eight, we learn a bit about electronics and make a light uh, which uses upcycled materials. So we also learn about plastics and uh, how to save the environment by upcycling. In year nine, we do a project which is using paper and card uh, and some ideas involving designing houses, architecture. So this is one that one of the year nines made. Also with this project, we get into the computer room and do some 3D modeling on the computer as well. And that's a quick summary of what we do at Key Stage 3. We also do GCSE design and technology, uh, where you'll, you'll use all of the stuff that you've learned in years 7, 8 and 9, plus a bit more. OK? See you in September. Bye. Hello, my name's Mrs Workman, and myself and Miss King are the food teachers here at Barnwood Park. We teach GCSE Food, Nutrition and Planning, which covers everything from food science, uh, understanding nutrition, how it works in your diet, all the way through to preparing food and meals and also looking at the restaurant industry. 
At Key Stage 3 we are part of the Arts Rotation and you will do roughly a 10 week rotation each year. So in year 7 you will cover the basics of knife skills, having fruit, making fruit salads, basic dishes, pasta bakes, those sort of things. And then in year 8 you sort of step it up a bit more and we look a little bit more in the detail of nutrition and food science. But again, cooking nearly every single lesson. And then in year 9 again it's stepping up, aiming sort towards your GCSE and the food science again but loads of cooking just getting those skills in so that you leave here completely capable of cooking. We also have the option to do um, uh, cooking clubs so you can do a six week one where you sign up and we're also planning on doing um, a young enterprise one so it's more about we're cooking doing soup kitchens to raise money and look at things we could spend in a more sort of holistic way rather than just coming and making cakes and eating cakes. We also take part in the Rotary Young Chef competition on a regular basis and we've often got people to the sort of semi-finals definitely getting through. I think previously we've had someone go to the nationals. Oh hello we didn't see you there. It's me again, um, Mr Holland. Uh, I also teach computing and um, <clears throat> in computing we learn about not just how computers work and when you send something on the internet, what does it actually do? When I press this key here, what does it do? How does the computer know these things? Not only have you learned about that, but we also learn a bit about how to make computers do what we want to do. Uh, a bit of programming, coding. And uh, what I've got in front of me now is, is some Python code, uh, which is what we, we teach. We teach some Python in year 7, 8 and 9. Or we might also do a bit of Scratch in year 7, which you've probably used at primary school as well. Not only that, we have uh, a club after school which takes part in something called the UK Robotics Challenge uh, using the Lego Mindstorms kit which we program a robot to uh, carry out several different types of challenges which are set by the competition uh, people. And you are welcome to take part in that when I see you in September. Okay, bye bye. I hope that you enjoyed hearing from the different subjects and now we're going to hear from some Year 7 students about their experiences at Barnwood Park. Welcome to Barnwood Park. I'm Alex and this is Sophie. I wanted to come to Barnwood Park because my sister came here before me and then on the opening day I came and looked around and the school had lots to offer me. It was daunting. There weren't many familiar faces until Barnwood Park staff showed me the way to go. I was met with friendly faces and made tons of friends immediately. We were slowly shown around the school and they gave us a good bearing of what to expect. I'm looking forward to making new friends. PE, art and joining the netball team. The lovely staff, the friendly children and the amazing lessons. Thank you, Barnwood. And now we're going to hear from our Year 11 cabinet. This involves our head girls. And they're going to take you on a virtual tour of the school and explain more information about Barnwood Park. Hello, my name is Alice and I'm head girl here at Barnwood Park. We're really sorry that we can't show you around just yet, but we hope this video will give you an insight into the school and show you how the staff and students all work together to make you feel cared for and safe during your time here. I expect most of you watching this are either in year 5 or 6 and year 11 seems a very long way away for you but it comes around very quickly which is why it's important to pick the school which is going to make the next five years of your life the most exciting and enjoyable as they can be. Everyone here at Barma Park tries to create the most positive and learning environment possible while still being fun. There are still opportunities for everyone to express their interests or step outside of their comfort zone for something new. As well as your everyday subjects like math, English and science, you also get the opportunity to try out new things like photography, languages, cooking or trampolining. During lunch times and after school, there's a whole range of other clubs and events to take part in, such as robotics club, choir, many sporting activities, or try your hand at performing arts in our new dance and drama studios. I can't say it isn't nerve-wracking moving to secondary school, because it is. Whichever school you move to, there will be days where you wobble a little, and parents too. However, one thing I'm proud to say at Bummer Park is we have a great team of teachers and staff who are always ready to support and care. We have such a diverse community and all our individual personalities are allowed to shine through. The school's encouragement to work with others, both younger and older, boy or girl, are one of the most beneficial ways of learning. 
By believing in me, my teachers have allowed me to push myself and reach my full potential. Every student is prepared for not only exams, but more importantly, prepared for the challenges of life. We as students always feel supported and valued. The teachers are willing to go out of their way to help us no matter what. They are always approachable and the school really encourages students to ask questions, however big or small they may be, and gives them the opportunity to go wherever they want to go. Bummer Park is home to students who are creative, caring and confident, and we would love for you to choose to be one of them. We are not only united as a school, but united as a family. Hi, I'm Lucy and I'm the Deputy Head Girl of Barnwood Park. Here at Barnwood, we have lots of amazing shows for you to look forward to throughout the year. These include the annual dance show, Centre Stage, the big school production every two years, which is normally a musical, Barnwood's Got Talent, a competition which showcases the talents of our students, and a magical Christmas concert. The shows are inclusive and include all interests and abilities involving all students from year 7 to 11. Lastly, our teachers get up onto the stage and perform a Christmas performance. Hi, I'm Sadia and I am the assistant head girl here at Barnard Park. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the prefect system here. The prefect system consists of year 10 and year 11. They're always around at breaks and lunches, so if you ever need a helping hand or someone to talk to, you can rely on them. The senior prefects focus on the well-being of our students by giving frequent assemblies and providing information. Also, older students can support you with our reading buddies, a reading buddy system and our anti-bullying ambassadors. Hello, I'm Annabelle, a senior prefect. In 2019, we were lucky enough to have been built new facilities at our school. We have been given the new state-of-the-art sports hall and classroom, including more space for more fun and exciting sports. Also, there are more computer rooms and a new textiles room for being more creative. And lastly, a new dance and drama room to be bigger and better to express ourselves. So please take a look for yourself in our new virtual tour. Frequently Asked Questions will be available on our website. If there are questions that you have that aren't answered there, then please email us at admin email address which is along the screen now. We will be passing on to the primary schools within the next week the prospectus and the, and the information packs. We hope you enjoyed our tour and we look forward to welcoming you in September.